So you've licensed a fun design, and you got it because it has an SVG file. You download the file, unzip it, open it up, and there's the DXF, EPS, PNG, and... The SVG file is showing up as an HTML document with a web browser icon. Why does this happen? Well, let's take a look at what SVG files are. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics, and it was a format developed for the web. It's a pretty new format. It's only been around for... Oh, wait, what? Wow, I feel old. Since SVG was originally a web format, computers assume they should be opened with a web browser. Side note, SVG files, like all vector file formats, may not be simple enough to be cut. Here are two SVG files. One is clean and easy to cut, and the other would be a cutting nightmare. Okay, back to SVG files opening in web browsers. How do we fix this? The fastest and easiest thing to do is just turn on your file extensions. Click on View, then check the File Name Extensions box. You'll now see .svg at the end of your file name. But this is only a quick fix. It will still show a browser icon, and if you double-click on that SVG file, it'll open up in your web browser. So let's kick it up a notch and fix that issue, too. Just right-click on an SVG file, then hover over Open With. Click on the app you want to use, and your SVG file will open in it. But this isn't a permanent change. We still have that browser icon. So let's fix that. Right-click again, and hover over Open With. But this time, click on Choose Another App. Click on the program you want to use to always open SVG files. Then be sure to check this box next to Always Use This App. Then click OK. Now your SVG files will have that program's icon, and when you double-click, they'll open up in that program. We taught the computer which program to use. But what if the program you want wasn't on the list? We can fix that too. We just have to dig a little bit deeper. Right-click on an SVG, hover over Open With, and click Choose Another App again. This time, click on More Apps. This is a larger list and probably contains all of your internet browsers and vector design programs. But some programs are still missing from the list. Let's say you only use simple cut files and want to open them all in Silhouette Studio. Nope, Studio is not in this list, but that's okay. We can search for any program we want. Click on Look for another app on this PC. This launches your Program Files folder, which is where most of your programs are installed. Here I can go into the Silhouette America folder, and then into the Silhouette Studio folder. I'll click on silhouettestudio.exe, which is what launches the Silhouette Studio program. Then I'll click Open. And there we go, our SVG opens up in Silhouette Studio. But it will only open Studio this one time because we didn't check that Always Use This App box. No worries though, right click, hover on Open With, click Choose Another App, and now Silhouette Studio will be in the list. By opening with that program once, we've taught the computer that Silhouette Studio is an option for all SVG files. Now you may ask, what about Cricut? You can do this with the new Cricut Desktop app, but I don't recommend it because of this. Because Cricut doesn't open files the same way other programs do, you can set it to show the icon, but when you double-click, it's only going to open the program. It won't open the SVG file inside the program. So I recommend assigning SVG files to a vector design program. They can all open SVG files and make editing and modifying them super easy. And remember, doing all of this doesn't actually affect the files themselves at all. It only makes the file wear a different hat. 
The file wears a different icon, but it's still the same SVG file deep down inside. I hope this guide makes it easier to organize your files and saves you that moment of panic when it looks like the SVG file isn't in a folder. Thanks for watching. Now go make stuff.